Hello, welcome to the next brain teaser in our series. Uh, so um, I always recommend that when you're working on a brain teaser, let's say you're, you're seeing the problem for the first time, listen to a few, few minutes of it, or a few first 30 seconds, however long I have, I, g I give until I tell you I'm going to give you a hint. Try working on it. Uh, come back and then uh, you can either, if, you've, if you think you've solved it, watch the video or watch the hints to see if, uh, if you're on the right track. And if you're still stuck, come back, watch some of the hints and then go work on it some more. But as much as possible, work through the problem yourself, and then you can come back and watch the video um, later. Okay, so the problem here is you have 25 horses, and they all run at a different speed, and it's a constant speed. You are allowed to race the horses against each other, um, and you're only allowed to race up to five, and you have um, no stopwatch. Okay, so no stopwatch. So the question is, um, uh, question is, how do I change the color here? Okay, there's, okay. Um, what are the, what's the minimum number of races to determine the top three. So we want the top three of all 25. Okay, so that's the problem. Uh, again, if you have not solved this problem, now that you know it, try working on it. Um, and now I'm going to give you some hints. So the first hint is uh, you can start the problem by splitting the 25 horses into groups of five and racing, doing five races. And then from those uh, five races, you then have to do another uh, a race. And if you are clever about how you select, um, uh, if you select from those top, um, uh, f the top from each of those five races, you, there's some clever ways you can get at uh, the number, uh, the, the, the top three overall. Okay, so the next hint is that you can do this in seven races. Uh, okay. So now I'm actually solve the problem. So, okay. So to solve this problem, what we're gonna do is we're gonna label. We're gonna break break them into groups of five. Okay. So let's say we have group one. And we race those five horses. We race group two. One, two, three. Four, five. Group three. One, two, three, four, five. Group four. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's the final group. One, two, three, four, five. So after you do your five races, you'll end up with um, with this. You'll know like your your one, two, three, four, five in each heat. So we only care about the top three overall. So there's no way that any of these fours and fives are ever going to be, um, are ever going to make it to the top, to the top uh, three. So I'm just going to eliminate. We're, we're just not going to care about whoever the fourth and fifth are in each group. So we can just eliminate these people. I mean these horses. Okay. So we've done so far five races. Now, so that's that's like step one. Now step two is. Let's race. Race top one from each from each heat. So all the ones we we race them together, and we'll then determine who are the relative, who what are what are the, what are the one through fives through that. So suppose that I've actually labeled it in such a way that group I've labeled group one to be the one that has the fastest overall. So so this in fact this horse right here is the fastest of all of them. And this one here is the slowest of the top ones. Okay. Well, that actually tells you something really interesting. Remember, what we did in the first step was we eliminated the fours and fives from each of the heats. Well, if this group, if this number one is fourth of the top ones, we don't care about even any of these. So we're just going to eliminate all of them. And similarly, the fifth, we don't care about any of them. And then additionally, uh, 
let's just say that so this was your number one, this was your number two, this was your number three from the top ones. What about what would happen with this number two from that heat? Well, there's no way at best he could be um, uh, fourth, right? If if let's say this let's say this one was faster than uh, let's say let's say that it, it, in fact these guys were much slower. This twos and threes and this two and three were much slower, and this was the third fastest. The best this guy could ever be was the fourth fastest. Okay, so we don't care about this guy, and similarly we don't care about this one. By the same logic, if we looked at the second heat, um, the third placed one here, at the best he could be would be um, fifth place. I'm sorry, he could. Yeah, this guy could be second, this guy could be third. So yeah, the best this guy could be would be fourth. So we could eliminate this person as well. Okay, so now look at this. We're left, we've, we've, just by some logic, we've, we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six horses. And we already know the top-placed finisher um, from, that, from that sixth race. So in fact, the, the people who we don't know the relative order on entirely are these. So what we could do for our seventh race is race those five, race the blob five above. So we already we, don't, we, we remember we can only do five horses per race. So we already know the top place finisher. We don't have to worry about him. We've already determined him. So just take these remaining five horses and race them against each other and determine who is the the top place finisher and the second place finisher, and those will be your third and fourth overall. Quite neat, huh? So we've now determined in seven races who are the top, the top, uh, um, the top, uh, um, uh, the top three. Okay, quite neat. Hope uh, you come back for uh, more puzzles.